Next question says, after wudu, if you see a part of your body that isn't covered, for instance, your arms aren't wet to your elbows, do you have to make wudu again, or can you just wash that part? We say that some of the people of knowledge hold the opinion that um, al which means to do things in succession, to do one part right after another, okay, in a continual motion. Many of the people of knowledge hold the view that this is mandatory and it must be done in one's wudu, okay? He is not allowed to wash his arm and allow the arm to dry and then uh, wipe his head, okay? Rather, he must do these things all in one, success, one uh, uh, fluid motion unless there is an excuse, extreme heat, extreme cold, so on and so forth. So therefore, if you, rem if you see that you didn't complete the washing of your arms or any part of your body, uh, we all know that is obligatory. Whereas there are many hadith in which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he saw a man who had a spot on his foot, then he didn't wash, it was still dry. And he told the man to finish his wudu. And there's several other texts that clearly prove the obligation of perfecting one's wudu. As the Messenger of Allah والسلام, has instructed us to complete our wudu and told us about the virtues of doing so. So therefore there's two types of completing one's wudu. First is that which is obligatory, mandatory, and the second is that which is a virtue, that which is excellent. So therefore, it is a mandatory to cover the parts of the body that Allah Azawajal has addressed in the Quran al Kareem. Allah says, wujuhakum wa Allah says, wash your faces, wash your hands and your arms. He says, ilal marafiq, up to your elbows. So therefore, when making wudu, from the fingertips all the way to the elbows, it must be washed. So if you discover that you haven't washed it, then you haven't completed your wudu. And if you haven't completed your wudu, and a long time went by, you dried off, you walked away, you left the bathroom, you used the paper towel, and you realize that you left out a certain part, then it goes back to what we previously established of al muwala of many of the ulama holding it obligatory to do the wudu in a succession. As for if a short period of time passes by, uh, you just noticed it, then that what you have to do is wash that part that you forgot or left off and then finish your wudu. You don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. So therefore, you left out a part on your arm, wash your arm, and then finish. You don't have to go all the way back to your mouth and your nose, etc.